It seems to me that every time there's a new way to play Galaga or version of Galaga or platform to play Galaga on, one of the first questions I hear is, does it have the no shoot bug included? Now, whether or not you know what that is, we'll talk about that in a second, but I've recently been looking at the new Micro Pocket Player Pro units from my arcade that just came out here at the end of 2023. And I was planning on looking at this Micro Player Pro anyhow, but what I thought I would do is do a combo. We're gonna take a quick look at this Micro Player Pro so you can see if it's something that's right for you. But more importantly, I wanna find out if this new software has the no shoot bug in it, which I have no reason to expect it does, but that's what we're gonna try to find out right after this. This video supported in part by well, in VR, I tend to sweat. It gives me an edge. The King of Nerds happens to give me an edge, too. Let King of Nerds give you the edge. Bye, King of Nerds. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, and I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. First things first, let's talk about the Galaga no-shoot bug. Effectively, it is a way that if you do certain things, you can stop all of the enemies from shooting at you for the whole game. I did a short video on it not long ago, so rather than reinvent the wheel, let me show you a little bit of that video here. On the first wave, fire at will until it gets to the second wave of blue bees. And leave those alone because what you want to do is leave these two bees on the far left-hand side of the screen. Now comes the part that requires a bit of patience. You need to avoid these enemies as they dive and shoot at you for a while. And by a while, I mean like five to ten minutes. Eventually, they will stop shooting altogether, and that's the cue that you've been successful. Now you can destroy these guys, because from here on out, no enemies will shoot at you. Okay, so now you know what the no-shoot bug is, and why someone would want to be able to do it, because it can prevent enemies from shooting at you the whole game, which is a huge benefit. Now, I had been wanting to show you this anyway, because it's brand new. This is the new MicroPlayer Pro Galaga Galaxian Combo Unit uh, that just came out here at the end of 2023. Uh, so what I want to do is, this is not so much a review as it is, I want to show you this. You can take a look at it, see if it's right for you. Link's down in the description if you want to pick one up. More importantly, we're gonna fire up Galaga on this and try to replicate those steps and see on the off chance whether or not the bug that we talked about is actually present in this new model. Let's go check it out. I think by now we've seen enough of these that we won't spend too much time on the box. We know we can see the cool gadget inside through the clear plastic. We're gonna to tour that hardware in a second. Magnetic latch on the back conceals just some beauty shots. Talks about how you can power it. Either USB-C or four AA shows the new controls. Uh, yeah, so let's get this thing open though because I can't wait to test out our theory. Here's our new Galaga Micro Player Pro. And did you happen to catch when I was unboxing this that there's no printed materials at all in this particular one? I'm guessing it's an anomaly in this one, but my arcade, if you're trying to get me to throw away your instructions, I mean, you got me. I can't, there's no instructions to throw away, not even the little checklist flyer. Now I like that checklist flyer and I have the one that I've had from uh, previous models and I like to go through this because it has all of the new stuff for 2023. So let's go ahead and check off my Galaga Micro Player Pro and then take a tour of the hardware. On the side here is our dramatically scaled down artwork. Now this is accurate artwork, but it wouldn't fit, so they just squished it to fit and then put it on that black background. Across the top, we have the marquee up here. Does not illuminate, you should know. Below it, here's the two and three quarter inch screen. Really nice, authentic Galaga bezel artwork around it. Moving on down to the control deck then. For the joystick, we have the new 2023 Meyer K joystick with the aluminum shaft, no more D-pad. And uh, this uh, Galaga and Galaxian only need left and right but this one is uh it's the standard full eight-way joystick that doesn't seem to impair uh play of the game i don't think some buttons we have home takes you back to the main menu to select which game you want player one and player two start because as we know these are now rewrites of the arcade game for this hardware and you got to put coins in <laughs> which we'll get to and then there's the fire button that's going to get a whole lot of exercise people ask me how the new micro player fire button feels and it's a little clicky which i like not uh, like micro switch clicky but it has a nice little throw and it bottoms out nice and solidly so i like this new control deck and the new hardware uh, buttons and joysticks they put into them further down to this knee board you'll remember this coin door used to be the power on off switch in the first wave of micro players it's just a sticker now although the red does illuminate uh, there's a bulb behind there that lights it up when you have the power on and then we have the credit in 
a little uh, quarter decal on there, American Quarter, because you've got to put credits in in order to play Galaga, thankfully, finally, in these new Pro units. On the bottom, two full-width, non-slip, grippy little rubber feet. Keeps the unit from sliding around the table during those fierce gaming sessions. These work well. Around back, we have that 3.5mm headphone jack. We have a 5 volt in USB-C. If you choose to power the unit with that instead of batteries, you can. And then we have the dimmable light function here that lets you pick from three different brightnesses of the screen. Then above this battery door, there's this single rear firing speaker, the power on off switch, and the volume up and down buttons. Let's go ahead and peel off this fake Galaga screen shot sticker throw some batteries in this guy and power it up and find out if that no shoot bug was included in this rewrite or not there we go in the arcade there's our micro player my arcade logo Okay, now you know this unit has two games on it, Galaga and Galaxian. If you want to see the gameplay and the review of all of that, look, I recommend you go and look at the pocket player that I did, the review up there. These have the same screen, the same software in it, the same kind of thing. Most important thing I want to know here is since they had to kind of rewrite Galaga and port it over to this hardware, does it include that no fire glitch that was really only in the early wave of Galaga? So, uh... I mean, it would be quite a thing if it was included, I think. So let's put in a coin. And you know the deal. We've got to ignore those left two Bs. So let's player one start. All right. Shoot everything you want until we get to the second wave of little blue Bs. And then be careful what we shoot. Those are fine. It's these guys. There. See the two left over there? Those are the guys we want to preserve. We don't want to shoot them at all. So if they dive, you leave them alone. Not you. Not you. <laughs> All right. Those are my two. My job now is to just sit around and make sure I don't get shot. Every once in a while, a bullet will wrap around the screen, so I can't leave it alone. Uh, and you never know how long it's going to take. It could take two minutes, five minutes, 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to sit here diligently for... I'm going to give it at least 30 minutes and make sure if it doesn't happen, it's not because I didn't give it enough time. Now, it looks like I'm in no danger here, but every once in a while, one of those bullets will shoot across and come down this way and try to get me. So I have to actually sit here and concentrate. You can't walk off and get a drink. There it was. You see that bullet come across there? This is certainly going to take a while, so while I'm dodging bees and bullets, let me take this opportunity to tell you about our merch store. If you head over to genxgrownup.com slash merch, you can get a t-shirt with a Gen X Grown Up logo, sure, but we have way more than that. You're a Galaga fan? Man, they have tons of Galaga designs, or designs from Star Wars or Star Trek or pretty much any fandom that you have, and every shirt that you buy goes to support independent content creation, just like this video. All right, that killed a few minutes. Let's see how it's going. It's been about six minutes, still waiting. They're still diving, still two bullets per dive. <gasps> I didn't see any bullets that time. None there. Oh my Lord. I think it's in here. Let me give it a second. There's... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I... Okay, but does it stick? The deal is, it should continue. Nobody should be shooting at me. And nobody's shooting. <laughs> Way to go, my arcade. Look, this is... I mean, this is a part of the game. That's a part people, a lot of people know about, and... I had people in the comments asking, I wonder if he can do that. And I'm like, no, I'm sure not. I'm sure not. I am. I've never been so happy to be wrong in my life. So now, double shooter, and nobody's going to shoot at me. Oh, man. And look, the bug was a limitation in the programming hardware. Like, it rolled over X number of bullets, and it lost track. But... But there was work to include that here. You had to keep the bug and not accidentally fix it or over, you know, overlook it. Yeah. It just makes the game so ridiculously easy. Now it just makes me even more wish that the pro units held my high scores. Because you're going to get some astronomical high scores now. <laughs> that you could do the no-shoot bug. 
You know, it's little stuff like this that shows the people at my arcade are really starting to get why we want to play these games on our desks. It's all the little stuff. It's all the little details. How cool. To be perfectly honest, I really kind of can't believe that the bug is present in these new My Arcade Pro units. And we're talking the Nano and the Pocket, and then this uh, Micro, of course, across the board. They have the same software in them. It makes no logical sense that the bug would be present there. There are a couple reasons why it is present, and both of them are good news. The first could be that my arcade was aware that this glitch was present and they went out of their way to make sure they used the version and mimic the version in their port to this hardware that included the bug because they knew people would like it and want to do it and it's an Easter egg kind of thing. That'd be fine. The other option that is equally kind of good news is we know this is a port, a bit of a rewrite, uh, if you will, a migration of the code to this hardware. And if let's say my arcade was ignoring the fact that the bug existed at all, what very likely could be happening was that the port, the migration is so exact and so much of the code was just directly carried over that they just accidentally included that bug in here, which that's not bad because it means more and more, this is a super duper duper close to the original version of Galaga as we had evaluated when we looked at the pocket some time ago. Yeah, some of the sounds are a little off sometimes, but by and large, it's pretty remarkable. To the best of my knowledge, I think this is the first recent home version of Galaga that does include the no shoot bug. So if that's something that you want, if that's a way that you like to play, or you just want to experience it for yourself without having to find a Galaga cabinet, now you can. You can pick up one of these new pro units and it's there. I, I'm kind of stunned. <laughs> Look, I'm going to throw some links over my shoulders here and here to more of these new My Arcade 2023 releases. I certainly hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>